everybody, Luke here, and welcome back to another video, and today I'm doing another story time. And today I'm going to be talking all about the times I broke my arm. The broke my arms, plural, two of them. Same arm, twice. Yay! Okay, so the first time, just started off as a normal day, okay? So picture this, okay? I was in the playground. Just chilling with my family, okay? Me and my brothers just chilling. We were on the swings, we were on the slides, we were on the big, you know, the basket swings, you know, those ones. Those swings that are made out of baskets, you know? You ever, ever heard of them? Never heard of them? Am I the only one? Seriously? Anyway, but I was on one of those, okay? And you just swing along and I was like you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try those monkey bears because I was on the swing and I could see the monkey bears and I was like those look like good monkey bears very good monkey bears so anyway I went over to the monkey bears okay and this is where things got a bit interessante okay so the monkey bears were really what well, they were high and I was only nine so I couldn't reach them but eventually I got Rory to lift me up and I was like yay I'm on the monkey bears. <laughs> this is awesome. So I was having a fun time. And then I went over to the end of the monkey bears. And I was like, I wonder, can I do a backflip? Because I was stupid. And I thought I could do a backflip. So basically, I swung. Um, I, I swung. And this is what I saw. I saw sky, ground, sky, ground, sky, ground, sky. And the final one where I could just see sky was when I had landed on the ground. And I landed with my arm behind my back like this arm behind my back like that. And it hurt a lot. And my daddy came rushing over and picked me up again. And my, my parents are just like... It's, pop, it's probably just a bruise. And I was like, I don't think this is a bruise. And they just looked at me and went... You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, so I was like, fine. So I, I was going to bed that night, and I was like, my arm is really sore. And then they just said, we'll see how it is in the morning. So the next morning I woke up, and it was really, really, really sore. I had hardly slept that night. And so they just I sat down on the couch, and they just looked at my arm and said, Let's bring Luke to the hospital. So they brought me to the hospital, okay? It's half an hour drive into the hospital. And we, while we were there, I had to wait two hours in the waiting room. Two hours. Oh, it was a long wait, but I hadn't I had mom's iPad to play and it was it was fun, you know. As you do, just playing the iPad. And yeah. It was pretty fun, but then I got called in by the Dokatura, okay? And Mr. Dokatura looked at my arm and said, I am going to get it your arm did x-rayed it. And I was like, I don't want to get my arm did x-rayed it. But he got my arm x-rayed it. So they put me onto a big machine and went <laughs> over my arm, went down over my arm. They put this like blanket on me, Stop radiation so I wouldn't get cancer or something stupid like that. <sighs> but they they put the thing on me, then they, they took a picture. And they said, smile, it's just like taking a picture. And I was like, is it done yet? And then they took the picture, and I was fine. I was absolutely fine, but, you know, they they looked at the picture, and there was a crack in my arm from here to here just a fracture a hair bone fracture i think that's what it's called and it hurt a lot it hurt quite a lot so they put this like um kind of i don't know cotton wool type thing on my arms uh, on my arm and then covered it in like this paper mache type stuff and then after they had the paper after they put on the paper mache they put on this other stuff and that kind of hardened and I, I could tap it and it was hollow 
but it was really, really hard. And yeah, it was. And so uh, I was fine from then on. And I was just like, but this, 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 this didn't hurt. But it was hard. To, I could only pick up. Luckily, uh, well, luckily and unluckily, I'm right handed. So I still had to do work in school, which was really annoying at the time. But I, I was fine with it. But usually I pick up drinks with my left hand. And so I tried to pick up a drink with my left hand. And whoop. Luckily, it was only a plastic cup, though. Or else you know we'd all be dead um yeah so yeah moving on to the next story okay so the next one is the second time i broke my hand so picture this okay i go into the hospital with the, uh, like and they're like okay it's tight it's to the time to it's the time to take it off of your cast and i'm like oh, they're taking off my cast so they get this circular saw and go and cut off my cast. And I was like, whoa, my arm feels so weak without this. So then I was like, okay, I'm fine now. So then a week later, okay, I'm playing outside in the trees, okay, and it had just rained, so the rocks were a bit slippy. And I stepped on a rock and fell. And obviously, instead of sticking out my strong arm that hadn't been broken a week before i decided like in midair i was i was falling and i was like can i stick out my left arm and then i hit the ground and i heard the biggest cracking sound i've ever heard and i just ran inside and i was like mom dad i think my arm's broken because i was like i was not messing up anything this time i was like we're going straight to the hospital because I was like, uh, they were like, how much does it hurt? And I was like, it hurts more than the time I broke my arm. And they were like, yep, we're going into hospital. So we go into hospital. And I only had, I didn't have to wait as long this time, I don't think. But they x-rayed me. And then the, the nurse just looked at me and said, Luke, what have you been up to? And I got to look at the picture. And there was a crack from here to here that's a big crack and they were like okay we're gonna have to put you under the needle and give you an operation to put your bone back in place and i was like what 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 but then i was like D -d 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 what's gonna happen and they said well you can't eat um we're gonna have to like starve you because you have to wait eight hours um, like you can't have eaten eight hours before an operation, so I had to wait like four hours just sitting in the hospital bed. But I got to watch CBBC, so I was like, fine. But like, I I was like I was so hungry, and then they were like, okay, there's two ways that we can knock you out. But they said sedate me. They didn't want to say knock me out in case I got scared. So they said we can either stick a needle in your arm, and I was like. No. Or you can uh, blow up a teddy bear. And basically the teddy bear was just this bag that they had filled with knockout gas. And you had to breathe it in and try to blow up the bag. And so they, they put me on this thing and wheeled me into the operating room. And my mom came with me and she was just like, see how far you can count back from 10. And I was like, okay. Then they put the mask over me and I went, 10? No. What? I, I didn't do anything. And I woke up. I think I was like, I'm not sure how much, how long later. I still can't remember. Like, but I woke up and my mom was just sitting next to me and I was like, hi. And then I looked at my arm and it was in like a cast that made my arm stay like this. Like, so I, I couldn't move my arm from that position. But they... With ink, they had put a load of um, like paw prints on it, and I was like really happy about that. And then they they wouldn't let me eat for another two hours after the operation, so I had to wait two hours. And then they gave me some toast on some jam on toast, and I was like, really? They said you give me jam on toast after I haven't eaten for like twelve hours, and they're like, 
So then they're like, okay, you're free to go, but don't eat anything for at least half an hour. So my mom was like, all right. So half an hour later, my mom's like, you know what? Since you were such a brave boy, let's go to KFC. And I was like, KFC? So we go to KFC. And I, I, I had my chicken, my popcorn chicken, actually. And I was like, mom, I don't feel so good. And then my mom was like, okay, let's go to the bathroom. And we went to the bathroom and I went, <laughs> and I threw up everywhere. But the good side, the good thing about throwing up was my mom was like, okay, here, you can have a drink of my Pepsi to wash the taste away. And I was like, yes. So, yeah. And that, uh, that cast stayed on for two months, I think. And, yeah. Okay, well, that does it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Okay? And don't forget... When you subscribe, hit the little bell button so that you'll get notifications every single time I upload a video. Also, if you are thinking of joining a YouTube network yourself, join Freedom. They're a really good network and they help you a lot. So, yeah, that's all. See ya. Bye.